Love is a spiritual force that holds opposites together. It's a sovereign, primordial intention that stands above two things that are absolutely different and opposed to each other and gives life to both of them and brings them to good. How does a human access this? How do we have to think? In what way do we need to relate to each other? Real love, spiritual love, can only exist when there is hatred. Love has to make a bridge above the two opposites. Love has to have the medium of hatred before it can be felt in any way, before it has any work to do. Hatred, meaning separation and opposition, is the medium through which the force of love can be experienced. The matter in which love can operate on its ultimate level is above hatred. It's got to have disconnection in order to evoke the supreme force of connection. Try to imagine a situation where you have the ability to maintain a connection in which you are looking for the well-being of a person or a group of people that you hate meaning that there is a profound disconnection there. You feel as though you're polar opposites. Now imagine the ability to maintain a connection, not on the level where the difference is, not where the disconnection is, but at another place where you're not considering how this is going to affect you. But the only thing you care about is that the connection should be there. There is actually nothing in nature that needs to be eradicated. It's supposed to be there. Why? Because it's intended to get us to experience love not for our own well-being, but on what's good for everything. That is the connective force. Think about it. What else would hold everything together but a feeling that wants to make sure that everything that exists serves its proper purpose, fulfills itself, we don't reach it by using our regular nature and our regular definition of love. The only place where this supreme primordial force of connection can happen is in situations like that. Nothing appears in its true form only through its opposite. By the opposite of something, the existence of its opposite can be perceived. Everything first appears in its negative form. Everything good first appears in our experience as its opposite form. And the degree of opposition tells you something about the coming good. So love is this force that connects everything, despite whatever its nature is. And we can learn to function above that level. That means that in order to discover the spiritual nature, the nature of the light, we do it by exposing what we call the revelation of evil or hatred. We don't learn about spirituality directly, we learn it by revealing what the limitations of our nature is and by learning to function above that.